We're back again for a back chat podcast. Uh, I'm going to go straight off the bat with a couple of things. Housekeeping. I'm going to then I'm going to throw straight to you, Scoey. Back chat double underscore on socials. Hello at backchatpodcast.com.au if you want to send us an email. You can find everything at backchatpodcast.com.au. There was a few big moments that happened last weekend. First thing I want to talk about is Harry Styles. That was a, a big thing that happened in the last seven days um, in Perth. Was it? I think so. Yep. People were talking about it a lot, put okay. it on Instagram. Yes. You weren't there, Scoey, no. but you were at You Are My Fire. No. Back I mean, Boys. what was more appropriate was... Oh my God, we're back again. Yeah, obviously. Rather sisters, everybody's seen. Right? Um, Can I'm, I just say, I closed my eyes there for a little bit. That was as monotone as <laughs> you were flat. Gets. You were really flat. It was just there. I was I waiting for things music, to go up and down. Musical yeah. too. You know what? I'm not a 49 year old Backstreet Boy that gets auto tune put on his microphone right. like they do at the moment. Right. Right. You were Grow there. Up, man. I saw. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> I saw on Instagram yeah. stories. You were looking for a ticket at one point. Just let me tell a story, right? Yeah, go on, okay. go for it. So look. I won't sit here and cop that sort of blasphemy about mm-hmm. the Backstreet Boys. If I you're not that. man enough to yeah. um, n- not only accept but acknowledge the fact that you love the Backstreet Boys, if you're not man enough to do that, mm-hmm. not sure. You know, we're in this. Tell me why. We're in this stra- tell me why. You tell, You've just missed two opportunities to sing it. We're like, it's like saying you don't like cruises. You're kidding yourself. We're, when when what you are, uh, we're in a weird world at the moment, right? Aren't we? I don't think you can call yourself a man if you can't. Say oh, I love the Backstreet Boys, and I know at least one song word for word. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think it's acceptable. So yes, I'm a big Backstreet fan. Uh, back, yeah, I'm a Backstreet so fan. I. I'm a big Backstreet fan. Too. Love I'm them. Bigger Backstreet mm. Boys fan. Backstreet Boys in Perth, RAC Arena. Mm. Um, look, it's a long story, but lucky Tell we're on a podcast. It. Okay. <laughs> yep. uh, my wife, uh, five year anniversary for her Pilates studio, Studio Equilibre. Shout out. We went there. It was great. There. Went there for the party. I've been there for five years. It's been awesome. Um, she did a staff party at the Backstreet Boys. So about three months ago, <sighs> oh, even oh, longer, woman. nay, six months, <clears throat> she said, I'm getting tickets to the Backstreet Boys for all the girls. Yep. Would you like to come? In my head. Uh, hang on, let me think about it. Let me check my schedule. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> In my Sold. Head, fuck yes. Yeah, and I'll I be think there. I may have said fuck yes. And then mm-hmm. I thought, you know what? That's imposing <clears throat> myself in a work environment. She's mm-hmm. just trying to have a good time with her staff. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be the bigger man, mm-hmm. say no. And then plans were made for my niece to come over. And somehow an extra ticket was bought for my niece. Oh, my God. Great. And I'm thinking – Okay, that's fine. My niece can go out with the girls and it's a yeah. girl thing. I don't, I don't girls have to not. go. Day of the concert, Saturday, two okay. days ago. Still not going. Oh, wow. Uh, halfway through the day, made a couple of mojitos, went down to the BWS down the corner. Um, you know, there was no shelters or uh, whippersnapper available. Disappointing. So, uh, we started making some mojitos and I had a couple of mojitos <laughs> and I thought, <laughs> I need to go to Backstreet Boys. Are you going fresh mint as well in the mojitos? And me- Yes, mate. Like yeah, we're, we're talking fresh mint um, in a thermo mix. So oh we God. did that, like a full thermo mix Shit. of mojito. I like made like t- 12 mojitos. There was like right. a full bottle of white rum in there. Yep. <sighs> Thought there was soda water in mojitos. Turns out there's not. It's just white rum, ice, <laughs> just fresh white mint, rum. Not sugar a mojito, syrup, That's just and a lime. Rum. Jeez, it was good. Oh, shit, yeah. Great. Uh, and I thought, I need to go. So I put something on back, on, uh, on back chat and maybe even my own thing saying – I need tickets to Backstreet Boys. Yes, saw the, that. The specific area as well because the way the Backstreet Boys had it set up, it wasn't just mosh pit seating. They had right mosh, left mm-hmm. mosh seating. They had like all these different areas mm-hmm. and I needed to get to the <coughs> right mosh pit. This yep. is a very important part of this story. Mm-hmm. Don't look at your watch for this. Don't look at your watch demo, right? There's plenty <laughs> more to go, right? So um, I thought I'll put it out to the followers. Someone will come through. Mm-hmm. Obviously. Did anyone come through? God, yeah. No. Of course. Ah. Absolutely not. What? No one came anywhere near it. Didn't. I heard a few people saying, oh, yeah, you know, have fun, blah, blah, blah. No tickets available. <laughs> have fun. Got on Gumtree. Bought a ticket off Gumtree. How much? Risky as fuck. How much? Pretty cheap. 180 bucks. They were, oh, like, they were like 300 retail. Got Shut 180. Up and take so my once money. again, what? once again, alarm bells ringing. I'm thinking, yeah, okay. it's fake. <laughs> yeah. But I bought it on the left mosh. No right mosh available, only left mosh. Oh, you're finding a way in Can there. Can I just ask a quick question? We we both we, <laughs> we both went to the, <laughs> we both went to the killers. Yes, you were down on the my left mosh, like not from stage my left. My left mosh. <laughs> oh, you're rolling. Shut, Shut your, your mouth. mouth. 
I was uh, left. I was left, Mosh. So same spot? No. Because that's your go-to spot. Yeah, I, I had a ticket to there, but the rest of the people had – to the right, but I figured okay, cool. if I've got a left, I can get in the right. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, it's not Correct. that hard. It's there'll not like that- you're crossing the Burling Wall to get to the right <laughs> line. <laughs> Seriously. There was that many, there'd be that many people there. It's the Backstreet Boys. It's a rope at best. No one's going to recognise Just me. do the limbo under it. Okay, so we get in, right? My ticket works. Positive. That's had, a win. Had a few espresso martinis on the way, actually. So Made those espresso, sat no more. Yeah, had, had a great pre-drink. Yeah, got excellent. there, was full of piss. Got there, uh... It was a really rogue and like um, not really well handled ticketing area. It was pretty much just like, oh yeah, we've got mosh tickets. Can we have a wristband? I somehow didn't think about it properly, and I was like, yeah, I'm left. I'm left. Like I could have just said right, oh, and, right. yeah, got and a right. Got my thing. I'm one of the Backstreet Boys. Yeah, I know. I could have <laughs> said left, and I would have got. Oh, sorry, I could have said right. Would have got right. Anyway, I end up with a blue wristband. All the girls have the right wit wristband, and I'm the mm-hmm. owner. We go in. I think it's going to be okay. I'll just blend my way in for the crowd. Haven't seen a bloke at this thing yet. Oh, there, there is girls yep, everywhere. Not that's a lot fine. of guys. Not a lot of guys. But once again, I will say, if you're not man enough to actually be there and admit that, that's on mm-hmm. you, not me. Facts only. Go not in, me. straight in. I'm thinking it's going to be split down the middle, left and right, <clears> all standing. We go into the standing area. It's seating the entire way to the front of the stage and Ooh. there are two small pockets of around 50 people <laughs> on the right and the <laughs> left of the stage. So I get the girls to go in. Um, I've picked the girl with this, the smallest wrist. I said, can you take that off and we'll do the old switcheroo. Send you in, send someone out with an extra wristband. I'll take my blue one off, put the red one on, good to go. Did it the first time. Got into the right-hand side of Backstreet Boys, having the best time. They come out. I'm squealing like yep. everyone else in there, and it was unreal. Was continuing to drink, so I was in a bit of a state at this mm-hmm. stage. Yep. They didn't start with any of their so- like any songs that anyone knew. In fact, they played seven to eight songs <laughs> that I've never heard in my life. Yeah. Good performance. Of Got course. Right to performance, yeah, no right? question. But I'm not. There's no. I want it that way. There's not backstreet's back. There's yeah. not. Show me somebody to love. Like there's not. There's nothing. So what was the first hit? Couldn't tell you because at this stage I need to go for a piss. Oh, say no more. And I'm still quite. I'm inebriated at this stage. Just and piss I, yourself. And I don't. <laughs> Seriously. I, I don't think about it, and I walk out. At this stage, I'd given the wristband back to one of the girls. I walk out, need a piss, I can run out, fucking this bullshit, they're not playing my songs. Go and piss, come back in, go to walk in, and just not even thinking, and the security guy's like, where's your wristband? And I'm like, yeah, here it is, pulled it out of my pocket, my blue one, not the red one, the blue one. And he goes, you're on the wrong side. And I said, oh, no, no, there's been a mistake. No, 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 I'm in here. He's like, no, mate, you're in the wrong one. So he goes, I go, yeah, no worries. I think, oh, fuck me. So he escorts me around to the left-hand side. Escorts. Escorts, mate, because there's seating everywhere. And there's this big, tall, white, six foot five lumberjack looking man in me mm. sticking out like a sore thumb. So he escorts me around. <clears throat> I think. Yeah. You're the big six foot five yeah, lumberjack. Me, yeah, yeah gotcha. I thought the bouncer was escorting no, you that's was. Me, no, he was Understood. a nice young man. And uh, went over there, did that, did my thing. I thought, oh, five minutes later, I'll go back over there. No one will notice. <clears throat> yep. Again, I'm past the point of thinking properly here. Like, there's literally 50 people in here, the security guards, which is like five per side. They were you got ten at, people to think about. Correct, and so they and you're know. You're the only. They know I don't have a wristband now. So now I go to get in. They deny me again, and I fire up a bit, like on the lip, you know, blah blah blah. Anyway, senior security guards there goes, "Not time to leave. That's oh. enough. Not copping any more of that. You're gone. Straight up, cut you're me. Out of back, you're gone. Boy. Straight up, cut me." And I said, I'm not, mate, you're fucking kidding me. Mate, I've got a fucking paid ticket here. Like, I've paid for this. 2018 grand okay. final. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't pull that out, but, like, it was very obvious who I was. And, <laughs> and he goes, nah, not having it. And he didn't want to budge. And he you should have kissed him. No, mate, he grabbed me by the arm, <laughs> grabbed me by the wrist and tried to pull pull that. Didn't react very well to that. I don't, I don't you like, don't like being touched, do you? That, no. It wasn't what, necessary. Like the, I wasn't, behind the back. Yeah, like tried to do that. Oh. And, I was, oh, and I fired up a bit. I was like, do Fired not, up Cassowary style. Do not <laughs> do not do that, mate. Like, if I'm leaving, I'll be leaving on my own regard. Thank you very much. This is all screaming over the top of Backstreet Boys as well. Like, are they, playing, this anything, conversation, this, are they playing anything you know yet or no? No idea. Yeah, Have, no, see, no, see, it. very important point. Have not heard a song I know yet, and I know a lot of them. Yeah. So these guys grab me and I'm like, mate, don't, I'm not fucking leaving, don't touch me. Like doing these ones, crazy. Yeah. Anyway, they scored it out. Scored it out of Backstreet Boys. I get kicked out of Backstreet Boys and I say, I'm not leaving. I've paid for a ticket. I'm not leaving the venue. This stage is about six security guards surrounding me. 
and they say, you have to leave. And I say, no, I'm not. what are you kicking me out for? And they say, well, you didn't have a wristband. I said, I did have a wristband. I'm on the other side, I went to the wrong side twice. You're like, you can't kick me out for this. Six security guards. I said, well, we're going to get the police. I said, get the police. Again, I'm, I'm oh passing. Yeah, you're, oh. half, you're half cut at this point. You're probably full three quarters cut. So I'm like, I'm not going to go back in there. I just want to sit here and listen to the music. At this stage, <laughs> I'd resign to the fact that I'll be listening from the foyer of the RAC arena. Worth it. Would have been better song putting some headphones in out of my- Spotify. Yeah. You know, um, they go, no worries. Anyway, two minutes later, cops rock up. Cops, cops are there now. And I said, I'm not leaving. They can't tell me what, what I've done. And the cops are going, oh, security guard, what's he done? Get like, your hands off my penis. Yeah. So much. <laughs> <laughs> a nutritious a Chinese succulent. meal. Yeah. <laughs> and they go, um, no, he doesn't have entry. I'm like, I do fucking have entry. I've paid for my entry. I've got my blue yeah, wristband. I, I, have a red, I don't helps. have a red wristband. Like, I'm so fucking sorry. This is how I'm speaking this yeah. day. This is getting sort of Berlin Wall-esque, Co- isn't it? Cops, red, blue. <laughs> cops are like, nah. Yeah. I, I, I then start saying to the cops, arrest me then. Are you going to arrest me? You arrest me? So no, I'm you, asking, please. I'm asking Big legend over here. I'm, well, I'm like, what do you, like, what? Yeah, seriously? No, but I'm like, what's the issue here? I've paid for the ticket. Oh, you've yeah. not let me in. Blah, blah, blah. They said, we will arrest you. Yeah, I'm just be- yeah. and I, I don't go, want to bring the, the back chat credit card out to bail you out of mate, prison. Mate, I'm then yeah. like, I'm like, oh my God, this is just escalated to a point. And then they go, like, give me your ID. We need your ID, your name, your address. And I'm like, absolutely not. I'm done. See you later. Have a great night. <laughs> Straight out. Walked out. Kicked out of Backstreet Boys. Escorted out by police. Wow, we. Got a text message randomly from the Southern River Band, Cal Kramer, and went and saw another random band who... Uh, Got to be honest, we're yeah. probably better than Backstreet Boys. Right at the um, that's at Hyde Park Hotel. Right? That is correct. One of our oh, Backchat what? reporters was was in Not the band. Late. It was at the Rosemount. Rosemount, yeah. Went yeah. down to the Rosemount. <coughs> Layton was in it. My guy, so, the golf reporter. Yes, Layton, and he plays in <laughs> padding for a little bit. Everybody, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Backstreet's back's going. That's right. You, <clears throat> you saw Layton's band, and and from all accords, it was amazing. They were amazing. They were yep. fucking amazing. Just I'm so fucking Indio Blaze. Jesus Christ. Indio Blaze. Indio Blaze. Similar style of music. Is it five? It's a, five a mix piece? between Limp Bizkit and Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, amazing! Shit, they were yeah. fucking amazing. Not Backstreet Boys. What does Lighton do in the band? I forgot about in that story, that long-winded Perfect. story. Uh, midway through, Alex has. My wife said, mm. I've got the solution. I've bought you a shirt. We'll disguise you. Take your hat off. Take your T-shirt off. Put this T-shirt on. She bought me the same colour T-shirt that I was wearing in the first right, place awesome. and they looked exactly okay. the same. So pretty much I just took my hat off, tried <laughs> to come in a third time. They literally grabbed me before I spent three three steps into Jesus. OS Arena. So Backstreet Boys, I love them. Still <coughs> yet to and probably will never see them play my yep. favourite songs live ever. Who's your, who's your favourite <laughs> Backstreet Boy? AJ. AJ? So, AJ uh, yeah, oh, I don't know any of their Carter. names. Carter's, Carter's my favourite. Now, I'm just Nick like, dead. from an outsider <laughs> listening to that story, I've been to concerts Aaron's and I've been to places where I've seen people arguing with the security guards doing exactly what you're describing. Mm. Yeah. Very easy to say it, Stone Cold Steve Sober. But you're talking through your rational decisions irrationally. Oh, yeah, drunk. But yeah. um, I walk past a bloke like you and just think, what a fuckhead. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking, how good is this? That What a fucking dickhead. Kick him out. I don't want to deal yeah, with him. Exactly. Fuck off. It was just the moral yeah, high ground that you. I had of like, I had a ticket. Yeah, and like, okay, you. I was trying to go from 150 to the other 50. I was just trying to be with my friends and have a good time at fucking Backstreet Boys. Hmm. Wasn't you should have said my wife's in here and she's in labour or something like that. That would have <laughs> She's in labour. Yeah. She just had a baby. Yeah. We're going to have to deliver it. Nick, Nick Carter's just impregnated and now yeah. she's having a baby. Anyway, um, do if you you're have, still here, thank you very much for yeah, listening. Yeah, that was a good story. Do, do you have any um, videos or pictures that you could share for our patrons? Just a selfie with a six um, security guards. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, our patrons do uh, get special access to stuff of our podcast. I do. And that I can p- take you inside the Backstreet Boys playing one of their numerous songs that I've never heard of in my fucking Great. life. Great. All right, we're going to put that on. Our um, patrons. Our VIPs. For our, our, our VIPs. Yeah, shit, yeah, exactly. that'd be nice. All right, let's get into it. Fat chat. It's why we're all here. Oh, God. You know yeah, what? It? why we're here? We're actually not here for fat chat, although I'd love to talk about fat chat. Yep. We're here because the wonderful people at Blue Bet, at the Mother River people? Roasting, <laughs> at Shelter. Yes. At Leadable Cameras. Leadable Cameras, yep. Who have I missed? 
Remember when I had the conversation with you right before the podcast? Yeah, started? I reckon that about was three minutes before. I said, when I finish my story, it's going to be long. You need to yep. recredit our sponsors. Of course, but that, I didn't realize it was going to be a forty-five minute story. So I've, I've, you know, lost track of where we were. But mm. so um, remember that conversation. No, I don't is, remember. It was that long ago. Point. It was about an hour ago. This yeah. is the point where just, you do this. Speaking of about an hour ago, it's not that long. But for anyone listening, just rewind about thirty-five to forty seconds and listen to Scoey try and say the word "wonderful." <laughs> What did I say? Wonderwall, I reckon. <laughs> Might have <laughs> been anyway. Backstreet Boys anyway. into our ways. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, fuck it. Here it is. Here's Wonderwall. Uh, okay. We've done that. Let's do back <clears throat> chat. Okay. Uh, I missed one of our sponsors, so thank you, though. You're a piece of shit, Dan. I can't believe you didn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to recoup from Backstreet Boys. Got it. Okay. Whippersnapper. Whippersnapper. That's, That's it. I, which I'm drinking at the moment. A little whiskey soda. Champion. Cool. Uh, legend, 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 legend alert. <laughs> 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 Uh, okay. Oh, shit, yeah. All right. So, Hammer, you started at 98.1. You decided, well, sorry, not you. Your father decided it's time for you to drop some kilos. Yeah, he decided that at 104 and a half, which was definitely warranted. Yep. It was around Christmas time, <laughs> and he said, mate, it's time to make some changes. Yep. I it's it's time father. to make some changes. Yeah. It's time we change the way we yeah. eat, yeah. where we cha- change the way we live in, yeah. and all of that. The words so- of Tupac change isn't <laughs> definitely needed. I'm pretty sure he said that somewhere along <laughs> exactly. the line. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So, your let's let's go straight to our weigh ins. Hammer started at ninety eight point one when we started this exercise. What are you down to currently? So as of this morning, I was ninety six point five. Well, okay, like that's not, no, no. Not, so that's, that's not, not a lot. lot. I'll explain in about a minute, but yeah. I'll continue. That's okay. Let's let's quickly <clears throat> wrap around our. Because I feel like you were lower than that last week. Nah, I was higher than that last week. Oh, I was yeah. way higher than that's that the week right. before, yeah. and lower. Yeah, I went up. Huge KFC and Domino's weekend. Yeah, yeah, you I did. did. Um, I started at eighty one. Got really sick recently, which was a yeah, god best way to start the diet. <laughs> get real crook. A godsend. Uh, Seventy five. <laughs> I'm down to um, eighty one. So I'm six kilos. Last week I was at the same. Yeah, but I've just sort of consolidated out, yeah. that. I've leveled it Dan, out. Dan bit. made the comment like, "I look skinny." Yeah. I keep yeah. looking at myself. Mm. I look skinny. Your rash vest has got a bit of room in it now. <laughs> 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 right, we'll get to the I, I, I shaved my face. I didn't know if it was because I'm, I shaved my face. So I was skinnier in the face, mm. but that's where I feel like I'm losing it. Yeah, look, look it's a positive. No, it's positive, mate. It's positive. I feel like I'm losing. You'll get to seventy four once you finally shave your pubes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Got me big time. Absolutely <laughs> nailed me. Thank you for that. Uh, Scoey, 107.8 kg oh. starting point. <laughs> big. Um, I was down to like 102 you, something. Right, oh, right, right before funny. we started recording this podcast, you said, I need to weigh in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where are you at? Got to be honest, I had oh, five chops, four yeah, sausages, sausages, like a lot of salad. And like, I'm talking too. like I kept going back to the salad. Yes, last night. No, about no. T- oh, an hour ago. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Um uh, before I've weighed in. That's silly. So I reckon I've eaten three kilos of yeah. food. So I weighed I'm, in this morning post shit and piss. I'm, and having, I'm, at, I'm at 105.1, but I feel like that's probably close to 102. Okay, I will oh, say yeah, this, definitely. In that's Scoey's good. defense. It's a nighttime weigh in. That's silly. The last, I've been doing that though. I have been. Yes. Oh, okay, fair the enough. last few times he's weighed in, he's had a huge meal and goes, it's time to weigh in. Like he's. <laughs> <laughs> that's just dumb. There's no hiding or it. Nah. Is it dumb? Is it because dumb? Yeah, when the get, time comes to. Push oh, comes to shove. Will I be cut. eating before it? Yeah, no, God, no, no, that's so like that. I'll that's be smart. cutting. I'll be shredding for wedding. Okay, yeah. so if you <clears throat> if you are interested in losing a kilo or two here, it's don't, a very positive community. Don't come and say us because we are. I have been. Oh, I've hit a wall at yeah, no, about ninety seven. So I did for okay. the month of but January. But you started at ninety eight. I started at one hundred and four. Started strong. Okay. I started at one hundred and four in the month of January. Right and did what the fucking keto thing is, and basically didn't eat any carbs, and was drinking better beers, and was fine. And just it was falling off me and have since rescinded that and have just been eating and drinking pretty much anything. Someone did write into the back chat Instagram and we do appreciate these sorts of reports. And if anything does get seen across the weekend or across the week, you see Dan beeping someone, you see Damo, you see Charlie out there with a microphone just doing roaming on the side of the street. Please let us know because someone has written in and said, (laughs) said, (laughs) just witnessed at Rottnest Island, confirm or deny if you were there. Was there. <laughs> Hamish Brayshaw turned down a beer for a white claw. Yeah, so, yep. Oh. I turned down a beer for a white claw. Maybe a positive thing. Positive thing. Had, I had yeah. <laughs> also had about 15 beers before that, which <laughs> didn't help. Um, 15, legend, over here. Yes. Um, since, Someone yeah. get down a whiskey. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I've just – I need to need get to. back on. Like, I need to get – carbs just – they. I look at them and I get fat. It's mm. It pisses okay. me off. And Sunday, to be fair, yesterday – I was just nowhere. <laughs> like, fuck. I was what? sitting 
I was sitting on the couch. I was I was as useful as Anne Frank's drum kit. I was doing nothing all day. I was just eating shit, drinking shit. Anne Frank's drum kit. Well, think about it. She wouldn't have been playing it much. Trying to hide for five years. And here she is drumming away. Fucking hell, she's not playing the intro to double, Smells Like Team Spirit, is she? Kick. Fucking hell. Anyway, I just did nothing yesterday and now uh, ate like shit and I feel shit. So. What did you eat yesterday? Uh, what did I have? I got up in the morning and had a had some leftover pizza, had uh, a foot long sub with double meat at lunchtime. Then I went to Woolworths and got two trays of those little sushi things, yep. and then had pizza and uh, Wait, so you had chicken tenderloins for dinner. And sushi. Yeah. One thing that someone's brought yeah. up recently about you, Hammer, is that the, the big thing when you know we're talking about losing weight. Um, the thing they've gone back to a couple of times is that you bought Subway for yourself mm. and your brother's girlfriend yep. and she only wanted the six inch, yep. but you didn't feel comfortable ordering a no, six inch. No, well, that's gutless. That's, I, I, feel like, <laughs> I feel like any man, any person that goes into Subway and gets mm. a six inch is kidding himself. It'd be yes. like going to not going to Backstreet Boys. It, it'd, yeah. be like, it'd, not, like, it'd be like not going to Backstreet Boys, but, okay. correct. But the problem was is that you ordered <clears> the foot long for yourself. Sorry, not the problem. It's a positive environment. The, the thing is, you ordered a foot long for yourself, the foot long for her, and then you took the <laughs> extra six inches. Of course. And you had the one and a half inch. Yeah, well, it's better than me foot. having two, which is what <laughs> I was that feeling. Is, that's how you but turn, the, that's <coughs> turn a negative into a positive. Yeah, correct. I but a six inch, a two, getting a six half. inch is firstly cowardly and gutless, <laughs> but it's also not what Subway's about, I feel. In the same sense that walking into Subway, because my cousin, I remember, just it just burns a hole in my memory. I would have been maybe nine and my cousin would have been five and he was his mum, would, my auntie, was ordering him a Subway. What do you want, Lockie? Uh, white bread with ham. What? You get ham at home, mate. Look at these meatballs. you got chicken fillet. you got all this stuff and you want a fucking ham sandwich. Crab. Just get, get ham crab. at home. Oh, Seriously. Do not fucking tell me you taste the seafood sensation. Oh, no, no, seriously. No, no, no. If no. you've ever ordered no. a seafood sensation, you can get out I now. one time went to Subway and a friend goes, get, get me the fo- a foot long crab. The crab meat. I've oh, no, Crab. Crab. How fresh do you reckon the, sea, the, the yeah. seafood sensation is at Subway? Yeah. Okay. That would be no, about I, as fresh I, as I a fillet of fish. Um, yeah. All right. Let's I will, you got me, I will yeah. say. You got I more crab say, in the chicken la- sausage than last, you do in that fat chat. A lot of ankle sweat right now. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Like a lot. I can see his, I, a bead. You're also wearing slippers. Yeah, take the slippers off. That's not going to unsweat my ankles. I have sweaty ankles. The heat from the feet. Are they Ralph Lauren slippers? Yeah, they are. Fucking hell. All right. It must be nice. Let's move into some content stuff. Um, I'm going to throw uh, an article. So the last time I tried to give you guys an article, I couldn't even get it out. Yeah, that was funny. Um, couldn't get it up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, what's Wasn't his the name? First time, James. Right? James. Uh, <laughs> Got him. Two children. <laughs> Again. Uh, <laughs> Adopted. I <laughs> <laughs> mean, uh, James had uh, 700 uh, meatballs. I'm going to give you another article. I just want oh, your reaction to it. just been shit on Dan Day. <laughs> Best podcast ever. <laughs> All right. Oh, um, sorry. This, this Switch on. on. Come on, Emma. This is on Perth now, <clears throat> which is a great uh, source of information. <laughs> Establishment. <laughs> I'm going to read you an article. This isn't, this isn't James Head's 40th birthday. No, no, no. no, no. This is not his 41st mm. first birthday. 41st. Colin Perth. Firth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Perth. I've been on tonight. <laughs> Perth. Yeah, Come on. Very much on. Perth now. <laughs> Nick Nat Nui oh, no. and Brittany oh. Bound, couple. That <laughs> says Bound. Okay, Bound. Understood. I'm, I'm reading it as per Perth now. Okay. Nick Nat Nui and Brittany Bound, couple meet with Tom Brass at City Beach with sons. Oh my fuck! They I'm did just, do that. I'm, I'm just going to I'm just going to read you a few paragraphs. For this. Eagles ruckman Nick Nat Nui has banded together with young dad and West Coast Eagles teammate Tom Brass for banded. a Sunday morning beach play date. Oh. Joined by partner uh, partner Brittany Bound, 32-year-old Nick Natanui was uh, taking four-month-old Ezekiel out for a dip into the clear waters at City Beach. I'm what did they you- call What did they say? Former forward? Ezekiel? Uh, <laughs> Is that what you just said? No, no. Um, 32-year-old Nick Natanui was seen taking four-month-old Ezekiel oh, out for a dip. Four-month-old. I thought you said former forward. <laughs> Fucking forward. hell. He's young. Um, soaking up the pristine <clears> conditions, <throat> the dads made the switch from the sand to the sea bringing the kids along for fun during the morning. 27-year-old West Coast defender Brass brought along 16-month-old son Billy, who was seen hanging out with Ezekiel in the sun. Uh, Nat <laughs> Nui and Brass both took the kids out into the water as they chatted across from each other. This, you are fucking That's kidding. not a story. Who's and, written that? No. Um, Staff writers. Uh, Caleb 
Thanks for that Caleb. Uh, yep. Caleb. Caleb. Slow news day, but understood. Keep going. Uh, for Ezekiel, a snuggle up to 2.1 metre tall dad made for a cute photo <laughs> opportunity. <laughs> Sharing on in- sharing the outing to Instagram, Nick Nat referred to Brass's son as Ezekiel's cousin Billy as the pair were pictured playing together. And so, look, this article is just full of uh, pictures of Nick Nat Nui and Tom Brass and their families hanging out at the beach. Um, is this the worst? That's the worst thing I've ever Yeah, heard. that's yep. so bad. It's oh. worse than what's in the box. Yes. It's worse than what's, what's in the box. We okay. had one last this- year, Nick Nat came out of the property room at West Coast. He was holding a box. And they wrote an article. Back page. Saying, back page. What, oh, sorry, yeah. Back page, back page of the paper. What's in the box? What's in the box? Fuck, it's Wait, probably... We, we, we rang Nick Nat. It's a surfboard, we, we, isn't we, it? No, Fuck, no. it's a pair of boots, I would have thought. It was, it, was, it was fucking uniforms. <coughs> no, strapping tape. It was just tape. He's just helping Teddy this take the, it from the truck to the... Oh, thing. my God. This What's in the, the box? last um last paragraph. Oh, it's still article. going? Yeah. Oh, good. Please, please update me. This is the last paragraph. The beach outing comes as West Coast couldn't guarantee that first choice ruck Nick Nat Nui would return against Adelaide in the team's final oh, preseason hit out on Friday as he manages Achilles' yeah, soreness. Yeah, bit of relevance back to the footy, <laughs> eh? Hey, let's get us back in the footy world. Yeah. I mean, the, where are we as a as a society that that is printable news? That that, I clicked on it and read it. You've you've now fucking broadcast it again yep. on another platform. <clears throat> Yep. That is one of the most disgraceful things I've ever heard, <laughs> seen. Uh, news report: two people that know each other, known each other for a long time, mm. go to the beach. Friends. Go to the beach, and then we detail the time, what the sand feels like in between their fucking Friend, toes. Friends go to the beach, take kids for swim. Yep, best article. All right, ever. next, next one we're going to go to. Oh yeah, um, Ed <clears throat> Kerno. Was he at the beach? <laughs> <laughs> he he sh- might have been. Looks he, like he was. Could have been. He should have been with this with this little get up here. So. Um, on the screen in front of you. Why, isn't, why are you not giving it full screen? Yeah, bizarre. I'm squinting. Look, look, we can give it full Thank screen. You. So yes. this is on Reddit. There was a post of Ed Kerno. Of course, Dan's on Reddit. Legend. W- with uh, with an absolute. Uh, can you just zoom in on it, please, Dan? Wait, oh, here we go. Let's go. <laughs> Seriously. Um, there there like, we uh, go. I'm trying my best to look at that. Right. Look, look at him. Look Ed at Kerner s- is sun smart. Look at the look at the sun cream on this on this guy. Um, <clears throat> it did it did make me um, Went to school with that actually. Oh, did you? Hmm. Did you? So I'm college boy. Okay. Remember? Remember Charlie would drop drop the f bomb and I was telling. So Charlie, Ed's brother, also went to school at Geelong College and said, "Do a good Geelong College boy." And then he said, "Yeah, we're fucking going." Oh, sorry, on Fox Footy last year. Oh yeah, yeah I do remember that. Okay. okay. So nothing um, healthy about a tan Ed. So the reason why I'm it. bringing this up is because it just re- it it when I brought this up before. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Rowell Rowley boy Hey an, an No nah, you got nothing to do with it Respect this he, he, is, he is not leaving one stone unturned <laughs> When it comes to being They don't all love it You just got to respect that one, one thing I did want to um, You've got those two you, you yeah, A lot yeah. of respect yep, for those two a lot, a lot of respect for those two But th- I thought I'd throw this one at you Instead of layering up with sun cream are you going through puberty again? <laughs> Somehow. The this. curious case of Benjamin Dan. What or Dan is, Button. What? Oh. oh, There is room in that rash vest. So wow, we. Can you explain to listeners who are not watching on YouTube? Okay. They actually look good. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, thank you. Um, so I thought I'd have a, a bit of time in the pool on mm. the weekend. So your kid's in the pool, just you? I know. Uh, Louis was in the pool too. He was in a, the back corner. Does he wear a rash vest? Uh, yeah, he wears, he wears bathers. So you're holding He's a, a shelter. Five, uh, four-year-old kid. You're holding a shelter. Holding a shelter, sitting in the pool. Um, Sunglasses Rash on. vest on. Rash vest And I on. thought, Beck, and I said to Beck, can you send, uh, take a photo of me? Because, you know, I'm in the pool, a bit of shelter. Thought I'd get the, the yeah. sponsors up and about. Mm. Um, and the rash vest is the perfect opportunity, or well, the perfect um, alternative to smothering yourself in sun cream. Of course. And I just wanted to bring that to your attention that there are alternatives to getting the, uh, mm. the body. Can, can you just just talk through the routine of being at home in your own pool with your children, beautiful wife looking on, and you, you go, I'm guessing, to the cupboard or the wardrobe, and you go, I'm going to put my rash pool vest fence. on. It's on the pool fence constantly. Always, always yeah. ready to go. Mm. Dry, as it, I take it off afterwards, it dries up, and then I chuck it on. Rash vests are one of the worst feeling uh, pieces of... Accessory <laughs> it that on your body, it feels horrible. Yeah, it's um, I've got to be honest, looking at that hashtag fat chat, that looks loose now. You look ripped, yeah, yeah, it there's... looks like I mean, a bit graphic, but my ball's getting out of the shower. 
like that. there's just a bit of room I there. I saw a couple, you know? there was a couple of guys at Backstreet Boys, they looked exactly like that. <laughs> with with their rash vests, vests on. on. Board shorts on, Sunny's good yeah, to go. Yeah, cheers yes, with the, the shelter. Yeah, the boys. Come okay. on. Okay, um, I want to throw this video to you now. We're okay. just going to keep rolling through some content here. Thank you. Um, this is sent through from Elliot uh, Friedman or oh, yeah. Friedman. Yeah. Now, big, big NHL reporter. Big he NHL happens to be a backup reporter. Yep, 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 yep. Um, I'm just going to play this video to you, Hammer. Uh, I'm just trying to find the the plus. Oh, there, there we go. No, will they let him go? Oh, the fight. Oh, come on. Oh, here yep, we go. Yep, yep. Love a good NHL fight. Look at him. Look, listen to the commentary. Heavyweight tilt. They grab a hold. One of the great rules. Couple of chance by McDermott. Lucci's with a right. Another right there. McDermott got one off. All the way to the blue line. McDermott has the right hand cut. Couple of rights there. That missed. There's an uppercut. Couple of left jabs. As right the right judges know that missed. Lucci trying to get his arm free. Oh, oh but he got McDermott. So, really cool. I watched that the first time, right? You listen to the commentators. That is it an outrageous sport that they are playing an elite mm. sport and midway through they want to fight. They Brilliant. clear the ice. They commentate Brilliant. it as if it's a part of the game. Like Adam, it's, it's a part of the game. It is a part of the game. And the rule is you're allowed a one-on-one fist fight as long as both – they. so the refs will try their best to break it up. Yep. And, but if it escalates and happens, they, they allow it until the skates <laughs> leave out, Until yeah. the skates leave the ice. Then it's game off. But until then, you just go for it. Throw, just throw the gloves off and so who those, wants it the Those moment? two guys, according to Elliot, <laughs> are, the, are two of the top three bangers in the NHL. Mm, and that. you very rarely see those sorts of matchups. Mm. You know, the, the bangers don't fight the bangers. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually there's um, some little grommet trying to take on the big guy and the big guy just knocks him out. See you later. That was two of the best going at it. It was a good fight Shit, too. Yeah, I yeah, like that. The NHL. Com- the commentator goes – It's a good sport. Mm. From, from I know how to commentate uh, NHL. Now it's fight night. And yeah, I'm just come going on, for it. going for it. I like right, that. One more video that I'm going to give to you guys, you. which is one of the best cricket overs right. ever give, seen. Ever. Do, you want, do you want to give us Is some it context? your footage from the no, 5 it's, for 12? No, it's currently. No, right. I don't have so, that. So this wouldn't be my nine B's game against St. Kevin's when I took five for. Yeah, three for in the one over, would it? No, three wicket maidens. And it's not the diamond duck I scored <clears> against <throat> Rowan Grammar in the under 10s when they let me open the batting. It is Tasmania v South Australia. This is in the grand final. Yeah, championship game. This is in the grand final. So required – hang on, I'm going to have to – hang on. Yeah, get up there because no, I can't even see. Okay, so they needed uh, – uh, I think they need uh, – two, let, 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 243. Let, they need four off the over. They need four yes. off the last over. There is With the Duckworth-Lewis-Stern system. Six <laughs> balls remaining. Six <laughs> balls remaining. They four need four runs. to draw. Yeah, four to right. draw. Four to draw, five to win. Which, Just, which, in, which in 2020 is a, is a win. South Australia need four to draw. Okay. And they have uh, like O'Neill on 28 in the tank. and Barsby on 28. They, they, you know, they've got two batters that are seeing pretty low. I've got Winviz saying that South Australia are about 90% to win this game. I'd say at not least. <coughs> at a minimum. Mate, they've all made right. 240. They're gonna make, they, 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 I reckon they can get four in and over. It's curtains. All right, all right, here we go. So let's play this little... Bridge. You can't get any more South Australian than that. Uh, that is pretty South Australian. Yeah, right. First ball the other. Faces Sarah Coit down the wicket. Bowl and there. she is bold. Sarah so right. Stone Oh boy. Oh boy. I really don't think that shot was needed. Yeah, that's there fine. There's plenty of, there's plenty of time. Fine. Bit of, bit, bit of calmness, bit of awareness. Is a cl- straight yeah. down the middle. I'm not sure what she's talking about. She's, trying, the, to, yeah. she's trying to finish it. Try to finish it off one ball. Which I is respect it. Michael Marcel on 195. There's six for 239. Two Wellington, they run with the shot. They'll take a single. They've taken a single. Take a single. Great. That's exactly what you want to do in this instance. They now need three. Well, the ball's run off the wickets. Okay. Third ball. Stumped. Stumped. She's out. She's out. Seven for 240. They need three off. And that's Bars- that's uh, that's Barsby out too. So that's both in form batters. Three, three from, from, three from three needed. They Easy. just need three from three needed. That's great keeping. Push it the ball around. Yeah. It is great keeping. Three from three, grand final. You put yourself in a position to win. This is the fourth bowl of the over. Seven for 240. Comes in. Faces Coit. And she hits it hard. Oh, my the best win you ever see. Can you believe Oh my God. She meant to do that. <laughs> so yeah, of course she did. No question. So the batter has hit the ball straight back at the ball. Yep. And she's, she's, she's ricocheted it straight into the. But it wasn't like wickets. a. Watch. She means yeah. it. Obviously, she's given a little yeah. clip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, wasn't, it wasn't accidental. It was deliberate. Second last ball over. Three needed from two balls. Well, that's that's, hit again. that's plum. That is plum LBW. That's the fourth <laughs> wicket of the over. Oh the my ball. fuck. It's eight for 240. 
Batsman not happy. Is it three, three, woman. three runs from two balls? It's now three from one. Three it's the last one. ball of the over. I don't know what I'm watching here. This is phenomenal. This is the grand final. I mean, they I, know, now need I know what I'm watching. They need a boundary off the last to win. Now, oh, is this a twist of fate? Do they hit a four? Jeff, Hart, Jeff Hardy style. <laughs> so it was a shocking shot. Straight down the middle. Lump. Plum LBW. Last Stepping ball back in front of the grand stump. final. They were no chance to win this, Tassie, as they oh, bowled the last ball. And she hits, hits it hard. It. It's up to mid off. It's a single and it won't be enough. The Tigers she comes back from have won it. They've gone back to back. Can you believe that? <laughs> there was another wicket. She got run out. Another just, wicket. Just for those playing along at home, she got run out. They've taken five for in the last over five of for the grand final. God. Five for one. So, uh, to State put League. It, the State <clears throat> League grand to, final. To go back to back as well. They, so were, they were the reigning To champions. put that into perspective for people who don't play cricket, um, I'm going to revert what this back. What perspective? Okay, I'm okay, gonna, this is an interesting this. perspective. So, let's say you're a 16 year old boy. Uh, you're taking a girl out on the fir- your very first date. You've been talking to her a little bit. You, you know, you've swooned her, swept mm-hmm. her off her feet. We're going out to dinner. Mm-hmm. Get to dinner, no worries. Macca's. Uh, you go out to a reasonable restaurant. You go to pay. Dinner's been, what, maybe 60, 70 bucks you pay. Your card has been accepted. Perfect. Winning. Going well. Walker, you, it's only a short, work back to, short walk back to a house. Her dad's at home. Her dad opens the door as you're going to let her in. And you shit your pants. <laughs> that is what has happened. <laughs> Everything has been perfect up to this point. Your dad's, you've got her home at a reasonable hour. You know, lovely to meet you, sir. You literally and then shit your pants. You just genuinely, as you're saying, nice to meet you, sir, you shit yourself. That is what South Australia just did then. Shit themselves at the doorstep of the home. Row were right there. It was just there to be won, yeah, and you've shit your pants. That's very good. Absolutely brutal last over. It, yeah. it could be one of the best overs cricket oh, I've shit, ever shit. seen. If you yeah, see a right championship I mean. game to go back to back, and they've absolutely. If you see anything through. in the sporting realm, we do have our back chat reporters that do bring us this content mm-hmm. weekly. But if you do see anything uh, out there in the wide world of sports, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe send it through. Yeah. We'll discuss it on the podcast. If you want to get on the WhatsApp group, just message us on Instagram. Yeah, it's not a free um, entry, though. You're yeah, you got to have something. Yeah, you got to pull have something. <clears throat> All right, so last. Has there been any removals from the WhatsApp group by you, Hamish? You no, nah, there hasn't been. I did say, but the, everyone who's been in there gatekeeper. has just been like, there's been good. some pretty good heat in there. It's so been, so been great chatter. It. Great it chatter. Been. It has All been. I probably need to get more active to be perfectly fair. Yeah, I would agree with that. And with Fat Chat on Discord. Yeah, well, I did say I'm against Discord, but I'm going to get around it. Come on. Okay. All right, there's two more. There's two more very important things. Things that that I want to go through before we get to Bluebird. We have an air conditioner sponsor. Do we? I thought that's what you. No, we don't. Sorry. Okay. One of the biggest things that we're rolling out this AFL season, and I am that bloody excited about it, is the Back Chat AFL tipping competition. Mm -hmm. Now, last week, sorry, not last week, last season, we did an AFL fantasy competition. Which was fun. Which was very fun. I was one of, like, bottom 10. I I absolutely- That's that's generous. That's generous. I reckon you were bottom five. Bottom five. I shut the bed, was no good at it. This this time around, right, for all the people like, oh, I don't play fantasy, I want to get involved. Which is fair enough. Which is 100, yeah, of course. Mm. It's, It's a lot of work to do fantasy. This year, we're doing tipping. It's absolutely open to everyone. What are we doing? Tipping. Tipping. Mm. Everyone's been involved in tipping, whether it's at your office, whether it's at home, whether you're by yourself with your family. Yeah, we're talking kids, you're doing against your mother. Everyone can tip. Everyone it's can not that tip. hard. Everyone can tip. Now, one of the big things that I need to go off the bat is that there are thousands. Not hundreds. Not hundreds. Thousands of dollars of prizes. Wow. And you might be thinking, oh, yeah, there's going to get a bunch of their sponsor yeah. stuff put all together, which no. we may do. Yeah, well, we may we, do. As well. Of course we will. I have heard from a reliable source, yes. and that reliable source being me, yes. mm. as one of the co-hosts of this podcast, mm-hmm. there will be thousands of dollars in cash prizes involved. There's, yeah, there's at least one, mate, and probably $2,000 of cash. We're not, we're not gonna get a, we're not going to cap it. No, we're, we're going to no, cap it at ten thousand because you can't yes. legally run a competition over ten thousand dollars. Yeah, that's Fish, smart. So there's the cap. Want to make sure that we. So don't there's the cap. So we'll not be over ten thousand. No, no, no. We'll be under it. Yes. yes, we will be under it. Nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine driveway. No more to pay <laughs> is the maximum exactly. that you're getting. Last year, but we, it's like the minimum is not one dollar. Yeah, the minimum is going to be a couple. The minimum is quite high. If you very, very high. So we're giving away thousands of just reasonably high. Don't it's, come on, <laughs> reasonably high. High enough to party. There's going to there's going to be a prize. <laughs> cash, a prize. we're talking cash prizes, thousands of dollars. Tipping right? competition as well cash as, prize. and I know what you're yeah. saying. 
I always do tipping about round 11. I'm that far from the top. There's no point doing it anymore. Then you start throwing out Hail Marys yeah, and it's exactly. just, you know, it's pointless. That's it where Dan will be. It yeah. doesn't matter because we it's, are it doing doesn't. a weekly prize as well for uh, the most tips in a round. And good, uh, good ones. And good ones. We're talking hundreds of dollars, mm. hundreds of dollars mm. for various things. Like there's that much good stuff. We, yeah. can't, we can't reveal it right now because right. there's a few things at play. Mm. But if you are last in the league and it's round 23 – you could be winning a better prize than the total prize for that round. Oh, for the round. Mm. For that round. Mm. So it doesn't matter if you're feeling like you're at the end, stay involved, keep winning weekly prizes. We've got that much good stuff to give away for the AFL Backchat Tipping Competition for 2023. It's official. It's mm-hmm. happening. It's happening. There's no. We might do a fantasy <coughs> league. I'm happy to do a fantasy yeah, league, we, but we, it's going to be fun for, 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 for prize. Yeah. Oh, I won't be doing that. Okay. No, I'll be tipping. I don't like great, fantasy. Great. Yeah, 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 Hammer will be tipping. Hammer, you want to beat Hammer in the tipping? <laughs> yeah. Beat join me the in the tipping. We're talking tipping. Now, if you want to join it, <clears throat> yes. you got to be a patron, guys. That's right. Sorry Have to, to do it to you. But if we're going to be putting thousands of dollars on the line, which thousands, we are. Heaps, actually. Lots. We actually are. It's, okay, this okay. isn't a joke. It's Honestly, it's more than 10,000 and it's probably it's more less than, than 20,000. Well, in terms of total prize, I don't money. know if that's legal. Yeah, that might be illegal. In which case, it'll be less than 10,000 just. That's right. $9,999. Yep. There's yeah, a lot you, of- You've got to be a patron though. Yeah. So you got to sign up yeah. to Patreon. That's not hard though. you got to pay a patron. Easy. But like, not only do you have to be a patron, like what comes with being a patron? Yes, you can join the tipping league, but you get VIP shit. Heaps you get discounts stuff. on all of our fucking sponsors stuff. Mm-hmm. Yep. You get back behind the scenes content. You know how we talk at the end of each podcast? Gold. You get that. You're I, basically saving money. We gave, I a, think we gave a prize away today yeah. on Patreon. We did. No one knows about it unless you're on Patreon. You don't okay. know what it I will say this. The footy season goes for how many months? Six? A few, Something yeah. Something like that, yeah. Yep, so let's say it's six At least months. two. Yeah, at least two. <laughs> if you pay $5 a month for six months, that's $30. Right, so it's a $30 investment. <clears throat> you could potentially win thousands of And if you're an alcoholic and you just use the codes to get free or cheaper whippersnapper, you're saving money. 100%. So you can join up to Patreon. You can be a part of the VIPs there, but yeah, you've yeah. got to be a patron to be in this tipping league. I, I would personally like to say a big one. Yeah. So sign up to Patreon, which you can do via our website. You can do it via our links in our bio on mm-hmm. Instagram. You can probably find that via TikTok as well. If that's how you're finding us. Mm-hmm. Sign up. Uh, Dan's created the league. It's already there. Demo's oh already, I can God. see Demo signing in right now. Shit, yeah, Charlie's can. signing in or they're both looking at their watches thinking, how long is this fucking thing going to go for? Tipping comp. It's happening. It's you happening. um just then, you waxed on, waxed off, Patreon, Patreon, Patreon style. Did I get one wrong? Not one. And I just got three in a row. Wrong. Brilliant. Well done. That was excellent. Thank you very Le- much. A couple of legends. Wax lyrical over there. Well done. All right. One Back last thing. Chat um, tipping comp. Yeah, get it's going to be huge. Um, Lots of prizes. 9,900. Okay. 9, okay. l- we will say the prize next week. We'll yeah. have the prize confirmed. Drive away. Okay. Last thing I'm going to talk about before we get to Blue Bet. We need people to come work with us. Oh, my God. Yeah, okay. like it. We do about 30 podcasts a month. Uh, we do back chat. We do the shelter footy, ca- shelter footy cast. I Here can't we speak. Go. We do the back chat basketball show. Dan we do- needs a speech therapist. <laughs> <laughs> Dan <laughs> needs a linguist. We do speech therapy. <laughs> we do all of that. Um, we need more people to help us do it. Because we're going to do more too. We're going to do a lot more. There's paid positions. Oh, my God. There's there's, even <laughs> there's if- positions we won't pay you a dollar. <laughs> yeah. But no, we're no, talking no. volunteers. No, no, it's actually all paid positions. Yeah, oh correct. That's God. why I was wondering why I said there's paid positions. All the positions <laughs> we have positions. are paid. There's paid and there's paid positions. Mm. A lot of people out there, you know. And those positions where you provide a service and you get money for it. Pay them. you money. Yes. Correct. We're off. We're, oh, I'm, just gonna, I'm going to take it five seconds. <laughs> yeah, breathe. breathe. Breath. Breath. Yeah, I know you're excited. We're also sponsored by a beer company, yes. a whiskey company, mm. a coffee company, yep. a betting company, yep. uh, a electronics, electronics company. We have access to so much good stuff. Come work with us. Mm. There is that much available, in t- including monetary value, Correct. which is the right way to pay for people to come right. and work yeah. with us. We've got to carry it on a bit in this podcast, and it started by me telling a yeah. big ass story about going <laughs> yeah. to the Backstreet Boys. Yeah. And then Dan just fumbling every other what word. What we're trying to say is. <laughs> We do have positions available. If you would like yeah. to come and work with Backchat, <clears throat> I can give you some cushy ass story about exciting new industry and podcasts and media it is. stuff. It is all of that. Mm. But uh, we think it's pretty cool what we're building in here and we'd like more people to come yep. help us do that. So yes, if sure. you want to, give us a contact at hello at backchatpodcast.com.au. If you want to send your CV through, that would even mm. be an added bonus and a little bit of a spiel. 
not from chat GPT, preferably. Write something out. Tell us why you think you'd fit in a back chat. I mean, you listen to us, you watch us, yeah. you know what we're about. Get down here. Very Join good. us. All right. Blue bet. Thank you. A huge a part of what we're doing this year, especially in the footy season. Yes. There's some very uh, some really cool things that we're doing um, with Blue bet. First thing we're doing, mm. a couple of predictions for mm-hmm. the AFL season. So Hammer, Let's you see. need to yeah, I'll piss off. Come on. get out of here while we talk Go about- Get yourself a, a Coke Zero, mate. That'll yep. be number three. Thank yeah, you very much. I would like a shelter sour as well when you come back, though, when you come back into the room. I'm not going to make it clear that he is out of the room, does not in any yeah, way, wait for him to close shape or the form. Door. Okay, all right, he's up. Okay, now, yes. you've been hot on West Coast Eagles to make the finals yes. this season. People have been coming at you, oh, that's not going to happen. Yeah, it's been a bit, a bit They only won two games. But we're going to do that, and we're also going to do one other thing. Yes. Fremantle Dockers. Right. So let's talk Top about four. some predictions okay. that we're going to do with Blue Bet. Okay. Um, we I think you've just you talked about them. Um, <laughs> thank you for the intro. Uh, West Coast will be top eight. I've, t- I've talked about this on this podcast and pretty much anywhere that puts a microphone in front of my face, I say that West Coast can make the top eight. Mm-hmm. We're putting money on that. Yes. So we, we're going to put some of these bets on just to show you guys we're not just talking absolute garbage. Yeah, money like, where our mouth yes, is. Yes, we are talking garbage, but we are getting on blue bet. And look, if you want to do it too, great. If you don't, Great. That's fine. Right, we're not here to force anything Just watch throats. along with us to get involved. West Coast are paying like $10 to be in the top eight. Like, and that's coming down. Like that's going down. I know yeah, how yeah, it yeah. started so high. Fremantle to make top four. They're the 11th favourite in the competition to finish top four, Charlie. So so currently- How do you feel about that? Horrible. Horrible. So currently Blue Bet think that Fremantle will finish 11th. Is that what they're- Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's outrageous. That's right. I mean, they're paying two dollars to make the top eight. You're gonna double your money. You're gonna double your money. We're getting on that one hundred percent. So we're doing that. We're gonna make them top eight. Yeah, thanks for coming. We have we got ten thousand dollars to put on that. Uh, no, we're not doing that. No, they're, no. they're ten dollar ten dollar yeah. amounts. Yeah. Freo to make top four. West Coast to make top eight. Um, there's minor premier markets. Okay, let's talk about minor premiers. Okay, so who won minor premiership last season? Geelong. Geelong, right? Do you think there was any teams that were budding for that as well? Like, yes, there was. Okay. Melbourne, well, Melbourne was second, and they're on top of the ladder by a long way after they won 11 and 12 in a row at the start of the That's year. That's right. They were poised to be the uh, best uh, streak in odds have history. Odds have Geelong. I love you talking about betting because you never bet in your life, and you talk about it like <laughs> <laughs> you talk about it, you know what you're talking about. And not that I do either. Geelong are like three fifty to be minor premiers. The second favourite right. in the minor premier market is paying seven dollars fifty. Who is that? It's not a one horse race. No, no. Surely no. Melbourne are seven fifty. Richmond are seven dollars. Brisbane are seven fifty. All these teams can be minor premiers. Someone has to be because it doesn't have to be Geelong either. Last year, how many Surely. games win? How many wins were Ooh, in minor 18, premiership? Eighteen. No, no. So no, I mean the difference between one and two. Two. Mate, yeah, I, a couple of games here and there. Well, so we're going to do some predictions there. I mean, you were coming at me. I can't remember what we are talking about before this podcast, but like you were coming at me as if I was wrong about these things. You're, you're very supportive of all this now. No, no, you, I'm, you I'm said, saying- you, Actually, that's right. You said, does anyone have $20,000? I'm going to put it on Fremantle to make finals. To talk, the, of course, that's the what you top said. eight. And that's then, outrageous to then, think that Fremantle sorry, wouldn't the, make top and eight. And then I remember the other thing that you wanted to put money on, which was uh, <laughs> West Coast- to be minor premiers, which are paying 500. 501 to one. Mate, you chuck $10 on that. That's $5,000 cash money. Yeah, but it's also pretty much Easy. guaranteed to be a $10 loss. It's <laughs> the, the, the point is the odds are 501 means every 500 times that happens, it's going to come off once. Let's be that one. So one in 500 years, yes. this is going to happen. Let's be the Leicester uh, City. Yeah, so use the Leicester City example. That's only happened once ever. You know what? You know what just because something happens doesn't mean it, it's bound okay. to happen. But the start of that Leicester glory. City season, do you know how many people were going like, it's never yeah, going to happen? Yeah, but you can't say that because every season, every other result that ever happened, lost. Just Leicester won. Correct. So we're what not are we putting saying? Up, we're not, West Coast are not winning the minor premiership. Okay, we're not winning the minor premiership, but eight, top eight. We could get around that. Absolutely. So there's it's a, few, $8 a dollars. few predictions we're doing on the AFL season that we're going to get around, of course. Now another new thing stack that them up. Uh, yeah we're gonna stack them up. Another new oh. thing that Bluebet is offering, yeah, which this I'm is good. very excited no, this about is because good. I I would personally get around this. Like I know we we talk a lot of stuff about Bluebet, but this is me personally I'd love to get around this. Yeah, let's be honest, you don't bet a lot. You're not very good at it. No, I'm not good at it. No. But Stat Wars, okay, so that's what Bluebet are calling it. Stat Wars. There's essentially a way that you can bet on. <laughs> 
Please continue. Individual players to beat <laughs> other individual players in stats. So yes. it's all about stats. So let's let's and it's like a war. And it's a, it's it's a war. Stat wars, exactly. So let's say uh, Tim Kelly v. Uh, give us a Fremantle midfielder. You give us a Fremantle midfielder. Brayshaw. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Andy Brayshaw. Right. Stat Wars is a way that you can go, I think Tim Kelly is going to have more possessions than Andy Brayshaw. Yeah, a bit more like specific than that. A bit kicks. Ki- oh, oh, yeah. You know, possession is handballs and kicks. Of course. Okay. I, I understand that. Perfect. Now, Blue Bet is putting a, a dollar value on that. Yes. Right. And you can... Um, bank that up with other players going, Tom Brass is going to have more marks than another back. I mean, I don't want to turn this into a betting podcast, which is you're doing a lot of explanation around this, which I do appreciate. No, no, but it's just a fun way to get involved in the game. <laughs> Why is your tone like? Why are you speaking like <laughs> and that? And for $9.99, what, yeah, what you is get that a, a new set of for food, man, man. Basically, we're going to do a stat. Because well, I'm excited about <laughs> it. <laughs> Call right now. You're listening right now. Can you hear the tone in Dan's voice? How weird I'm excited. It is? I okay, first you always get on me about not being excited about things, and I'm bloody excited right, so about. So how this. long are we going? Eighteen months. Thanks for taking my fucking <laughs> feedback on board. Stat wars. We're going to go one v one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Kick, my point is like kicks and handballs. Oh, it's exciting. No, exciting is Backman. Yeah. V. Backman at the other end. Spoil. A total spoil. We have a fucking spoil off. Yeah. It's a spoil off. Okay. It's a tackle off with a couple of grubs in the midfield that don't get any touches. Yep. And you can watch them tackle. That's what we're talking about. Not kicks. Okay. Not like midfield how many kicks did Tim Kelly get. Who gives a shit? All right. Let's, let's, talk, <laughs> let's, let's go talk, Backman. Let's talk about Backman. Let's talk about, you know, how many how many contested marks does Tom Barras take versus how many how many contested marks does David uh does and David Mackay? David That's Mundy. A, no, David Mackay. He's played for Adelaide. <laughs> uh, Harry Mackay. Imagine a contested yeah. mark off for those two. Love it. That's interesting. Get around that. Not not possessions of Brayshaw and Kelly. No, I hate that. That exists I've in never, the fucking world. I've never wanted that ever This is a perfect life. example <laughs> of why you don't know betting. No one cares about that. Yep. Chuck a, cu- chuck a couple of dollars on, win some oh, no. some coins. All right. Anything All right. else for Blue Bet? No, that's it. Hammer. Uh, one last thing for Blue Bet. Mm. Which Hammer? Come back in. Hammer, can you can come someone, back in? Get can, off your phone. I mean, I can't see. If, uh, someone get a Hammer from the locked... Bubble of silence that Lock he's been box. sitting in. Thank you for that. Oh, Hamish, you're, you're on the beers, are you? Yeah, I was on the whippersnapper. Right, I couldn't hear a word of that, but I've just got to quickly summarise what I imagine was in there. Dan talking a lot of shit and being an idiot, <laughs> and <Exactly>. um, <laughs> making dumb predictions that he has no idea about. Speaking of all of that, it's time for Hamish to make some predictions about other sports yeah. that are happening around the world. Here we go. Hamish now. needs to be excluded from AFL chat because he's involved with multiple yeah. organisations around that. I financially cannot. profit. From anything to do with AFL, and which is not, fair enough. And, you do, yeah, and, and I don't like across and all across honest, all leagues. By the sounds of the way I was talking, none of us are going to financially benefit sure. from any of this. Blue bet. Okay, we did take Blue Bet down, yeah, non AFL. Yeah, 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 yeah. First oh. bet of the year. Found out what we took Blue Bet down for in the Super Bowl bet. Ooh. It was a substantial amount, ladies and gentlemen. Tens be of thousands. It was. It actually. It was, that is actual fact. Oh like, wow! Yeah. We had, People, people got on Shit our bet yeah. we built and cleaned them out, and we yes. fucking love Well, it. if anyone else wants to win some money this weekend, okay. you're taking over. I'm taking Hammer's it down. Hammer's taking oh, over come on. the account. There's, there's a thousand other sports that happen around the world. Hammer, tell us um, some of the things that you might be interested in. We are going to put this out on socials later <coughs> in the week. Is there so anything no- that is piquing your interest, Nothing. Hamish? You uh, get to do the back chat bet of the yeah, week. Yeah, I get to do the back chat bet. I'm going rogue. Um, I, I'm thinking you a long, little browse? Yeah, I'm thinking eSports. There'll be something mm. along there that I'd like to dabble in. I'm, I'm going <laughs> to build a big, Legends. I'm gonna big, yeah, build a big multi. I'm, um, I'm going to be looking at the um, the Cantonese third league badminton, <laughs> see what's going on there. <laughs> see if I can get on some, um, see if I can get on some you know, Alabama sort of college basketball, maybe. A little maybe bit of live some, golf, maybe. A little bit of live golf, maybe. Mm. Uh, I like to live golf because every now and again you get some some rogue markets with that, so not necessarily betting on the golf itself, but something that ha- might happen. We like that. Um, this yeah, week, Hammer I'm, takes yeah, over back. It's going to be a bit rogue, but if you uh, like Hammer, stick with me. And you like betting, and you don't want to listen to Dan explain to you fucking how a bet works once again. <laughs> get around you put this in one dollar, you get some money back if you win. <laughs> yeah. That's basically the. I want to tell you the market Dan was talking about before, but he wants to put money on a five hundred and one dollar market, and he wants to back that. Market. Anyways, all right. Let's let's move along to. <laughs> That's the, dumb. I already know what it probably would be. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you no, wouldn't no, have no. any idea. Correct. The Backchat Backman's Club. Something we've been rolling out over the last yeah, three four weeks. Um, yes, it is. Why your team can win the Premiership? Yep. Because of the backline. That's and right. Will was gonna uh, is gonna take over from here. Go. <laughs> 
every Why time. Why are you extending the explanations? <laughs> and extending the ex- explanations you're not, you're for a podcast that's already probably at about an hour and a half. And you're not, now you're not, you will speak. You're not ready an audio book to our audience. <laughs> like, yeah. Thank you very much. Back chat Backman's Club. This is going to continue on during the year. We're going to have an award for Backman. Like I said about I like that. some of the stuff before when Hamish yeah. was not here, we care about the Backman. Don't we? Because backs win premierships. That's what yeah, they do. They do. That's what they've always done. Mm-hmm. And that's what we're here for. Yeah, facts. Lucky enough to see this first team in person at last week, Port Adelaide, Ooh. here at Mineral Resources Park. Yeah. And yes, there was some eye-catching moves in the midfield. Yeah. You know, Jason Juan Francis Fuck running around in there. Ollie Wise, he's won a brown low medal. Great. He Scott did. Lice at four pre- uh, premiership team out of mine. Well done. All good to see. Junior Rioli, good to see too. Yeah, but plays forward, so who cares? Do we care? No, we don't. God we look no. at their back line. And I've got to be honest, I absolutely loved yeah. what I saw. And so do I. If you're a Port Adelaide fan, so should you. Led by Tom Jonas. Oh, yeah. The Big man- fella looks like the Port Adelaide mascot. Like it used to be Dean Brogan looking like power. I think he's yep. called like power, power. Tom Jonas is just a Chis- man. Cut chiseled. like a park statue. Cut chiseled. I saw him at Rottnest on Saturday actually. Did you? <clears throat> yep, having a couple of tins. Good on him. Good on him. Enjoying himself after a thrilling defeat. <laughs> he's a good defender. I can tell you that yeah. right now. He's a man. Mm-hmm. He plays like a man and he leads that team mm. down there. Tom Cleary. I like the way he plays football. He's mm. a he's he's a scoey type of player. He locks guys down. He's got an iron fist. Gets the job done respect every week. Like, you got to respect it. You yeah. can't do anything but respect correct. it. Correct. I love it. You got to respect the it. The cannon. Oh, Trent McKenzie, talk to me. Here we go, <laughs> mate. This this is the kid. Oh, the that, cannon leg. You know, in, in, in a bright orange vest that he was wearing at the Gold Coast Sun. He used to get it, just smack it on. My the My favorite video of all time to ever come out of football is just on Gold Coast TV. Some reporter went out with him on on Metricon and just said, "How far can you kick it? Kick the drop punt from fifty. <laughs> kick the drop punt from sixty, and then kick the drop punt from seventy. And just said, "Well, I mean, yeah." Sweet. Uh, what <laughs> Went else do you want? A couple of minutes. It was, it was unbelievable. <laughs> the cannon leg. They that's call you the what, cannon leg. Well, that's what he was. But now oh. he's like this ultimate defender. Like he can <clears throat> match it with the best. He can go one on one. They they put him on like Tom Hawkins when they played <laughs> along. I mean, this kid who was the cannon still has it. Still can kick the shit out of it. Yeah. But he defends now. Like yeah. I was, can kick the fucking leather off a kangaroo. Nothing but respect for this team. Yeah. Darcy Byrne Jones, mm. All Australian in one year. He was the 2020 yeah. Best and Fairest winner. Wow. You know that? I didn't know that. Yeah. I do now. You're Shit, yeah. Welcome. The more doesn't, you know. Doesn't surprise me. He's a backman. Mm. Dan Houston and uh, my man Ryan Burton, they play similar types of football, mm-hmm. both rangy, both get amongst the, on the, when the stats come about. So, fantasy mm-hmm. players, super coach <laughs> yeah. players, we'd like them too. <laughs> I don't know what there else is to love apart from, oh, that's right, Aaliyah, Aaliyah. <laughs> Like I watched him, he he was the best. Say no round. more. He he would have had ten intercept marks against West Coast. Yeah. West Coast, mind you, going to win minor premiership. They, Alir that's Alir, not what Dan was. Oh. Alir, 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 I'm not financially benefiting. Uh, sweet, Alir, Alir <laughs> is a gun. isn't he? He's got a fucking magnet in his jumper for that footy. I tell you, it just well, comes it, to him. Is that the thing they say? Uh, player so nice, they named him twice. New York, yeah, yeah. I name so nice, got to say it twice. I Great. think that's it. He was ranked mm. 16 intercepts per game in 2022. <sighs> He'll probably be in the top five this year. Port Adelaide, that's why you're going to win the flag. Like, you can win the flag on the back of that back line. Oh, I agree. Amazing. Richmond. Mm, the Mighty Tigers. Um, yellow and black. Mm-hmm. Yellow and black. Dylan Grimes, 2021 best and fairest. I love all these backmen that win best and fairest. I mean, it's, it's a hard great, feat. It's great to see. He's a gun. Been a gun for a long period He's of time. He's played a lot of football, He's a he? leader. Isn't you he? know what else he does? Pretty sure he makes wine. I think he's got wineries. Wow. Dylan Wines. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> enough said. Oh, my Absolutely God. Absolutely enough That's said. why Richmond will win the premiership. <laughs> <laughs> On to the next one. Wandsy. Robbie Tarrant. Oh, I kind of guy. forgot Robbie was playing at Richmond. Yeah, he but is. He, but he, if we're talking about chiseled, you know, talking about chiseled men. <laughs> Which we are. Which we yeah, are. Yeah, we are. I mean, we're talking about back lines. He's yeah. tanned, ripped, and chiseled. Isn't he? And he's got just fucking pipes, doesn't he? Look <laughs> yeah. at him. He's, he's big, got some mate. of the great set of arms. His brother Scary. Chris had some chip off the old block. He was ripped too. Yeah. Um, Robbie Tarrant, great defender. Um, ranked 14th in 1% for uh, per game last year. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. What's funny about what? that, man? <laughs> just the Charlie stat. <laughs> I'll give you some more Charlie stats if you like that one. Nathan Broad, big fan, friend of the family yeah, here at Backchat. Love Nathan yeah. Broad. Like, really good interview. If I haven't listened mm. to it and you're listening to this right now, go you and listen. It. Yeah, that's He's where I'd be legend. going. 17th in rebound, 50s per <laughs> game. <laughs> 
Dan, Dan's on one. I reckon Dan is actually on. <laughs> Noah Bolter maybe be the best defender in this group of guys. They've thrown him forward a little bit. Yep. No stats for Noah, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie. No, you didn't like, you didn't like what you saw there. Thank you very much. Uh, Daniel Rioli, they've turned him into a back. Yeah, haven't they? Uh, Liam Baker runs around down there as well. Good, yeah, good a couple pie. of boys that like getting their yeah, footy yeah, in their hand. Yeah, yeah, They've yeah, lost yeah. Basha Hooley, mm. who was one of my favourite players of all time. Mm-hmm. Of all time. He was pretty good when he nah, could have won a Norm Smith. Genuinely nice person. Yeah. At that time he got reported. Like, he should have no. got reported. Remember that? He got, he, got, he, got, he got multiple weeks, six weeks. What? Yeah, he got, absolutely smacked someone by the ball. <laughs> totally out of character, got to be honest. Shit. And we're off, 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 off topic a little bit here. That's the back line. Josh, D- Josh Gibkiss may be the best young key defender in the game, and that's saying something with De Koning at Geelong. Mm-hmm. Josh Gibkiss, keep your eyes on that. Yep. Richmond, there you go. Dun- Mate, Richmond win. win the flag. Well, they've done, they've done it before. They know how to yeah, do it. Yeah, a few times in the last few years, yep. actually. Thank you very much. The last on the list, St Kilda. Oh, boy. Is someone pissing? <laughs> what is that sound? <laughs> I am, I am indeed pissing. <laughs> what is that? St Kilda, the St Kilda Saints. Yeah. Um, the Saints come marching in. They, the St Kilda Saints. They look. They haven't. Dan's on one. Dan is absolutely. I think. Him over the I edge. think Dan could be on drugs tonight. <laughs> it could be St Kilda on hallucinogens. Had, they've had a lot of injuries. Let's be honest. Mm-hmm. They've got a new coach in. Well, he was an old coach. Now another coach. You know, he used yeah. to be St Kilda and then Fremantle St Kilda, Ross Lyon. Yeah, 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 yeah. He'd be disappointed <clears throat> with the players he has available. Not in the back line. Mm. The back line is the thing that may actually hold them together and give them the smallest chance that they may have yeah, of winning a chance, the Premiership though. this year. Everyone does. They've got to punch his chance. Come on. Dougal Howard, ranked <laughs> fourth in one percenters per game. The mop. Just cleaning it up. All Charlie's asking, is he moving forward this year? I'll give you an answer, Charlie. Fucking no, mate. He's a gun defender. Don't look at me like that, Charlie. Cal- no, I don't care if he played forward in the match team. He was probably just teaching the forwards mm. down there what to do. They probably don't know what they're doing down there. They no. can't have Dougal Howard forward. He's, He's a, a defender. Backman. Yep. Callum Wilkie, backman. Mm-hmm. Ranked first in time on ground percentage per <laughs> game. <laughs> yes. No, nah, that's backman areas. Yeah, that you don't is see any midfielders back- running nah, around doing don't. that. No, you not 100% of the game. Can't say it. Jack Sinclair, I can't say enough <laughs> about this man. 22, 2022 best and fairest, mm-hmm. All-Australian, breakout year. Yeah, he was Goes good. again. He was good. Got good hair too. Doesn't he? Really liked the hair. Mm. Um, that's about all I've got to say for the St Kilda Football Club. <laughs> a bit light on, but they're a chance. That's I like them though. Yep, they're I a do sniff. like them. I actually do like Prince them. Prince of Penzance style, they're an underdog, but <laughs> Prince of they'll Penzance. get there. Okay, I like the reference. 100 to 1. Ah, Daniel, back to the okay. audio book, please. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome Daniel. back to Back Chat. He's, he's, chapter he's nine. Chapter nine of, of Back Chat. Uh, tomorrow's guest is. is well, Hamish has had a haircut, by the yeah, way. Yeah, I've had a haircut. Very nice. fresh. Thank you. Looking nice. And if anyone would be so. I mean, I know this is going to be a long episode, but as you're going through, I mean, <laughs> by the time you're at this point, you'll have already listened to the whole thing. But I'd really like to get a count on the amount of times you've either had a voice crack today yeah. or you've said the wrong thing okay. or you've just fucked up linguistically yeah. and sounded Hamish, like an idiot. How much did you pay for your haircut? Uh, oh, I think I parted ways with a pineapple. Okay. Did you? Yeah. 50 bones. Yeah, how much 50, you, how much 50 clams. I was going to get – they offered me a beer, but I had a game the next day. So what? Beers, you buy beer a beer for 10 bucks. bucks. Is that what it costs these days? How much do you yeah. pay? Zero. <laughs> Steep. I'd better. Do you pay you zero with your Main guy? Street Barber, shout out. Oh, Dave the Goat Marquise. Yeah, Probably should go no, back there, yeah, actually. The boys down there sort of sell. I've, so, I've, ba- Bailey, you came to the UFC with us. Yeah, legend. He's my barber. Do He's I need, my barber. Do I need to go to him for a little... He owes you a few cuts, yes. Okay. I mean, I, much, yeah, okay. I've been paying in the area of 65 to $75 a haircut. Um, is this normal? Are you getting a fucking... Are they, is it a rub and tug afterwards <laughs> or what the hell's going on? <laughs> I get a, a haircut big, with a happy ending for Dan. I, I get Holy a, <laughs> shit. 65 bucks. 75. 75. Fucking hell. With the clippers. Um, no, it's... it's um, I get a beer or two, mm. but... I just enjoy the the camaraderie from the boys. <laughs> you're, pay, you're paying for your mates. Yeah. You're paying for friends. Yeah. Seventy five dollars. Do we need to give a shout out to? Yeah. Or no, is that what you know? Shaving. Are they, they're cutting your hair, shaving your beard, your pubes, and waxing your no, arms. No, we've discovered he hasn't. Oh shaved yeah, he hasn't shaved his pubes in years. He's gonna be so light Wait, on his. Did feet. I say that that was a thing? <laughs> yeah, just looking at you. You can tell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I've got a, a good pair of clippers at home. Uh, um, tomorrow's guest. Tomorrow's guest is Ryan. Daniels. Oh, yes. the big rhino. The big rhino. Uh, He's rhino got some sharp seven, hair. Footy rhino. On Footy rhino. Um, one of the biggest parts of um, Ryan Daniels' career over the past couple of years that people on Instagram and Twitter like to talk about is 
Lockie Neal trade coming back well, to Fremantle Dockers. I mean, yeah, now, no, no, I think no, that's no, disrespectful. No, just, I want to be part of, of his course. career. It's just something I like people say, like to talk about. People like to talk about it, but he's done like, many, many good it's things. Like anchoring Channel 7 yeah, sports He is news. now the lead sports anchor he's of Channel 7 News in, in Western Australia. He gave great insight to what sporting media is like at the moment, and I will yes. give one little teaser away. I said he wasn't overly happy with the environment that is created between athletes, between clubs, between the media, between mm-hmm. the AFL, all of that. And I said, how do you fix it? And his answer was, you're going to have to listen. Yeah, very good. It was, I it like was, that, it was, Will. It was an interesting answer. It probably won't be what you think it will be. Mm. Can we talk about the other thing that's been happening on with Ryan Daniels? I mean, Ryan Daniels and Channel 7 are getting sued by a current member of the West Coast Eagles. Yep. And we probably can't talk about that. We no. can't talk about that, but... That's the thing that's happening with Ryan Daniels. Did we talk about the podcast? Maybe. You have to find out. <laughs> Listen and have a look. That's pretty rogue shit podcast you. if you didn't talk that's about that. That's rogue by you. Well, in fairness, who knows when we <laughs> Yeah, no, that's it. fair enough. All right, here we go. And you should s- talk about that? You it send it. Oh, we might him. read it. Brought to you by Leadable Cameras. You send it. We read it. Oh, oh good. It's, good. it's time for Dan's voice to be heard <laughs> on this podcast today. <laughs> Uh, okay, do you want to talk about Little Cameras for a bit? We had a very good event last week mm. at Little Cameras with Tom Brass, Jeremy McGovern. I think you said you were coming, Hamish. We'll yeah, I yeah. was. And then what did I do Thursday night? <laughs> did you have a subway or two? <laughs> uh, oh, it I was. I was, I was busy. Look, I do a fair few of these on side hustles, do Sportsman's Night and host different things. And oh, fair enough. I do speak to people here on Back Chat, some mm-hmm. guests. I can tell when there's a good or a bad interview. Like I, I, I can instantly tell yeah. that was good, that was bad, this is going to go big, that's going to get no attention. This thing at Leadable Cameras that we did, which was an event that we promoted coming up into it for about four weeks, not enough of you came, got to be honest. Yep. Not for any Sorry, monetary value to us. Like we oh, didn't get paid for it. Not at all. Uh, we did that as a part of our sponsorship. Mm-hmm. So maybe we did get paid for it. Who knows? I just thought more people needed to be there to witness what, it was, which was the two vice captains of a current AFL club. Really insightful chat. I mean, you were there. It was, was it was there. really bloody good. I laughed the entire time. Did you? They were ripping on other players in in the team. Was it phones in the box sort of stuff? Yes, well, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but, but, like, it yeah. was it was it was funny. It was very good. Lots of insight. Things that I hadn't heard before about um, twenty eighteen. Those things I hadn't. Uh, it's funny. Heard. It's funny though. Because go on, go on. Well, it wasn't like the thing I liked the most was the insight that was given, not the humor. Like there was like genuine insight mm. about what it takes to be a leader in oh, AFL club. There was all of that, and but it was delivered in a way that was like funny. And I was there, and I was like, I was there with the boys. Like they're my best friends now. Oh my god! Um, I tapped it to the list pay, with Peter Bowl. Did, did you pay them to hang out as well? <laughs> Basically, like <your> barber. <laughs> You send it, we read it. Brought to you by Leadable Cameras. They've got a great setup upstairs. You can do private events up there. Get in touch with them. Go see Lydio. Um, go and buy some camera equipment off him because they mm-hmm. do the best stuff down yeah. there. And yep. binoculars. All right. This binoculars. Is what, binoculars. Oh. Uh, what a weird from, thing to say, Dan. <laughs> no, they love the binoculars over at Just Leadable Cameras. Talking. Anyway. Fucking hell. Tom this Ryan. is from Tom Ryan. Lacroix 12. Hey, team. Long time fan time sender. Big fan of the show. More importantly, big fan of the underscores. Uh, when your name is is as vanilla- stop 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 okay. no you no no stop 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 you ban you no, ban this one no 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 when your no, name no, no. is as vanilla no stop as- stop 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 please stop. stop talking over the top of me hey team long time fan first time sender that's what the first sentence says what did you yes. just say can exactly you play that. something back Fan time. Long time man. fan, I'm, fan time listener. I'm reading it as per the email. I don't, I'm reading it too. Long time fan, first time sender is what that exactly. says. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's not what you said. <laughs> when your name is as vanilla as Tom Ryan, underscores are essential. Okay. I just want to share something that I saw this week on social media. This was a post from 7AFL <laughs> asking who the best six fours were of the modern era, uh, to which Mark Lacroix was quick to comment, reminding them of a dozen reasons why he should be included in this list. I would love to hear who each of you think the top six forwards would be of the modern era and why they are the following. Uh, Josh Kennedy, Mark Lacroix, Quinton Lynch, Ash Hansen, Troy Wilson, Troy Wilson. and <laughs> Philip Matera. <laughs> kind regards, Tom. All right. This is to you guys. Top six forwards of the modern era. Wow. Well, I can't comment on those six when, does mod- when do you count modern? modern? This century? Is that modern? Past 2020? 
That was 2020. No. Seriously? 2020. 20, 20, no, modern is 2000. <coughs> I would say 2000. Sorry, 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 2000. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's, 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 20, let's, 20, give us two years of forwards. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. That's modern. It's very modern. <laughs> this bloke. From just all right, the modern era of best six forwards from the match on the weekend. <laughs> Fucking hell, mate! I was thinking this more. Is unbelievable. I was thinking more postmodern. Todd Marshall, oh, <laughs> yeah. Tom Rass said a bit of time down there. Oh, pretty sure Harry Shees will kick three. He's in there. <laughs> Shees, great name, great name. The Shees, right? Uh, oh, Buddy Franklin, lock. Yeah, I'll give you a, give you a bit of a look. It's going to be out of these guys. And I, we're at Seal Rioli, Steve Johnson. Uh I was Jeff Farmer, Barry Hall, the Wizard, Favola, Pavlich, Johnson, mm-hmm. Lloyd, Lloyd, mm, Lloyd Hawkins. <sighs> Who is that? Stephen Milne, Jonathan Brown, Jay Ruffhead, Toby Green, David Neitz is in there. Taylor Walker, Michael O'Loughlin, Warren Treadway. Don't know why I said it like that. Eddie Betts, Luke Bruce has his picture in there. I don't know if it, he qualifies. Eddie Betts probably in a forward pocket for mine. Robbie Gray, Jeremy Cameron, Fraser Gerrick, Jack Rewalt, Alistair Lynch. I would have Matthew Pavlich in there. I would have yeah. Matthew Pavlich. If Matthew Lloyd counts, he's in there. If Matthew he's Lloyd's more narrow, then he's in there. He's a fucking so, so that's our key position, He kicked guys. 900 goals or something, didn't he? Lloyd and Pavlich are out. And we, let's get a third buddy, guy in there. Bull, Lance, Buddy Franklin yeah. would be your f- you. roaming third. Yep, yeah, great. And then Eddie, Betts, Eddie Betts, I think. I like him. I think he was fucking awesome. Yeah. Smaller guys, Jeff Farmer. The Wizard. Cyril Rioli was pretty good. Mark LaCroix kicked a shitload of goals, didn't he? Yeah, I think it's a small forward. Like, like I think Mark LaCroix is better than Robbie Gray. Yeah, I agree. Is that okay? I think he was better than Luke Bruce. Is that okay or not? I mean, yeah, but Luke was, he better, three time Re- was he better than Cyril Rioli? No, no. So no. Cyril Rioli probably Cyril's gets in there. there. So, no, like, Lecker wasn't that sort of player, though. No, he wasn't. So, Lecker's... Brad Johnson's a very good small forward. Brad Johnson was a pretty good player, wasn't Lecker's he? comment that's been pinned by 7AFL just says 12 <laughs> on the post. Yeah, that's fair enough. In reference to his 12 goals against I would have thought so. Just says 12, that's it. It's very good. Yeah. I think we did with it. Stephen Kearney, follow up on my snip. <laughs> hey, Hammer. Thank just you. following up on my snip email Dan read out last week. Mm. Firstly, 100%... I uh, think the doc judges and was yeah. a geeling inside his head as I laid there. Secondly, I have to clean the pipes out 20 times within the next three months. Easy done in brackets. Yeah, obviously. Absolutely. It's then, a, it was three weeks and it was maybe a little three bit Three days, even, seriously. <laughs> uh, Fucking just sit back and tear the skin off it. Come on. And then provide a sample um, to make sure it all worked. Self-admission to the Burns unit. Um <laughs> Uh, Dan, I just want to say, uh, well done reading the email. You have grown so much in the last year. You'll be so disappointed after this episode. <laughs> didn't struggle. You'll be flat at you yeah, because you've been that shit. Uh, I'm pr- oh, I, he says, sorry. I'm proud of you. Yeah. That's where the email uh, ends. Oh. So just a little update for you yeah. from Stephen Kennedy. That'll be short-lived pride. <laughs> short-lived pride. It's good to feel like someone's proud of you from time mm, to time. Isn't sorry, it? That's Dan. from Stephen. <laughs> sorry. Um, all right, we've got some fines. Now, before fine. we recorded the podcast, you yes. jumped on our Instagram and yeah. you said... Send them in. Boys, girls, yeah, send them in. children, send in some fines. Men's talk. And we got them. Socket to sarcoma, Sabre. They are our charities. Once again, we donated over $1,000 each to those charities last year. Thanks to you. Um, partly because you just tell us what money and partly because we donate the money. But it was mm-hmm. mostly thanks to you involving yourself in fines. So if you do want to get involved, just like these lovely people <clears> that are about to follow my voice, jump on the website, backchatpodcast.com.au forward slash fines. Send in your fines. I mm-hmm. want to hear them. You want to find your mum, your dad, your uncle, your cousin, your sister, your brother, your dog, Hamish, Dan, me, Charlie, Damo, fine us, whatever you want. So reason. just to check, Charlie, we've got seven here. Yeah. Oh, shit. Boy, yeah. oh, boy. Floodgates over I want them. We, we did one last week. I want them all. Give them to me. Let's oh, go. Shit, Let's go to the yeah. first one. Yeah, boys. Um, just scrolling Instagram after a couple of beers and saw Scoey's heartfelt posts to his missus. Running the business, looking after his kids, looking after him. What am I? Just like to nominate Scoey for a bit of a credit oh, for the fines. Two dollar credit. Huge work. Very good. Ripping the money out of the charity's hands. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Taking it yeah, back. Taking it back. Would you like to take some money from the charity? That oh, was from Socket to Sarcoma. Cop that. That was from Dixie Normus. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well done, Dixie. Yeah. I'd um, like to hear that. So, the, would, so just to check, would you like to take some money from charity? Look, I'd like to donate it for being an absolute kiss ass. Yeah, and I do well like done. my wife, but it's not needed sometimes. Okay, cool. All right, let's, let's go to the next Fair one. Enough. Demo. 
Hi, this is Max Schooler on behalf of Saxon Soundness, and today I'll be finding Saxon Soundness five dollars for getting a lift home from a party. And on the way home, he vomited in the car, and then got back to his mate's house and pissed on the carpet, which was approximately <laughs> three meters from a toilet. That's Love it. Right. All right, got that Saxon. Really yep. good. Are you yep. pissed on pissed on the carpet before? Yep. You done that? Yeah. Oh. You're, you're indoor pisser? No, nah, I've never pissed. I've vomited on the carpet plenty of times. Can I just give a shout out to um, my best mate, Joel, and I vomited on his wife, on the back of his wife, when she was sitting in the passenger seat. <laughs> uh, oh, that is so disgusting. While I was in the car, oh uh, Michaela, I'm, again, I've, I've apologized yeah. a million How times. How did you not control yourself to just spew on the ground or spew I out said, the window? I said, Joel, you need to pull over right now because I'm going to spew. He took forever to find a spot to pull over and I vomited. Fair enough. But why are you throwing up forwards? Proje- yeah. Projectile. But again, why forwards? Do Could it not down control. in your own. Anyway, anyways, let's go to the next one, Michael. G'day, fellas. Got a fine for one H Brayshaw. Yep. Saw him on the weekend at the Rotto Swim, yep. trudging off the ferry uh, straight to the pub. Did not look over at one swimmer slogging it away uh, in the water. <laughs> Went straight to the pub. Saw him a little bit later. Absolutely buckled, speaking left-handed. So, yeah, got one for H Brayshaw. Just going to the Rotto for the piss um, <laughs> and the pub. And not to support any of the swimmers. <laughs> Fair enough. Speaking left-handed. Speaking left-handed. That's, yeah. That's good. No. He didn't tell me how much I was getting fined. Um, Fourteen bucks was about how much a fucking white claw was, but I'll pay that. Right, um, Fourteen. I was. I mean, I've, I've been really loving the graphic shirts at the moment. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm sure always. you've seen them. And this one's Doug Judy, but I wore a um, the Nature Boy Ric Flair on uh, on correct, and that was the exact reason that I was doing it. I would have let off how many oh, how upwards many of 150. <laughs> Just going yeah. around, woo! Oh. It was fucking hilarious. God, I was being an idiot. All right. Um, Let's yeah, go to Paul. Oh, I was that guy anyway. Paul. Let's go to Paul. Paulie boy. Fines. Right. Scully, you know, I love you. Love you it. put the call out, yep. and I understand you're using your son Nash to pull up the heartstrings of yep. the people yep. and get those fines in to mm-hmm. raise money for a good cause. Yep. But, mate, I'm fining you $2.50 oh, for using the F bomb in front of little Nash. He doesn't need to hear that, mate. He doesn't. It's bad enough Dan's little fella. He's embarrassed by his old man with all the tootin' carrying on when he goes for a drive. <laughs> Let's not go down the same road with your language, eh? Two dollars <laughs> fifty up your bum. <laughs> yes, Paul. Paulie, That's I like what it. About. That's what it's all about. That's the mate. fight of the year so far. Yep. Well done. I think it could have been better was finding Dan two bucks for being a tootin' son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Continue. All right, mullet man. Couple left. Let's go, mullet. Yeah, g'day, ladies. Like to find the bloke I'm house sitting for four dollars and twenty cents for having a shower with the water pressure of an old man taking a leak. Uh, cheers, boys. Brilliant, brilliant. G'day, you know, ladies. G'day, you know, really ladies. Good. Four dollars twenty. I like it. Uh, who's this next one from, Dan? Uh, Mike Hunter Ash. Hey, lads and uh, Dan. Um, <laughs> just wanted to uh, find. I don't know if this is okay, but. Uh, just wanted to send through a $5 fine to uh, Shelter, if I'm honest. Um, I Ooh. am from Perth, now live in Victoria, and I can't find Shelter beers anywhere. Yes. And that makes me extremely sad. Yep. So, yeah, yep, just want to find them. Thank you. Please send me some. <laughs> <All right. laughs> he wants some Shelter. Yeah. No, I think that's fair. I'd like, yeah, fair sometimes we're going to come at you, you get them wrong. Sometimes you get them right. And Mike right. has it right. Yep. I would like, just on the fines, brilliant, love them. Can we get you to say your name? Yeah. That's the point. The, the whole idea, if your name is Mike Huntrush, I'd like you to say, you know, that's my name. <laughs> right. Dixie say, Normous here. Yeah. Oh, it's Dixie Normous here. Um, you know. Yep. All right. Last one from Anon. Uh, g'day, Legends and Dan. Um, <laughs> just a quick one here for Hammer. $2. Thanks, mate. Fair. Um, one for the Patreon members. And if you're not a Patreon, get over there and subscribe. It's good gear. Love this. Um, but in the end of the last episode, made a real fucked, creepy comment to Kat about smelling nice. Yeah. Um, came across pretty weird and dodgy. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for that one, mate. Yep. No. Cheers, boys. <laughs> yeah, no, fair enough. Wow. The live rebuttals I'm allowed, which is nice considering this yes. is the format. I'd been yeah. sitting next to Scully in a sweltering hot room with about <laughs> yeah. 10 people, so it stunk like shit. And then a breath of fresh air coming through. Yeah, so, no, fair enough. Two bucks, I'll cop it.
You will cop it. Two dollars. That oh look, that's, that's just good that's in the air. Fine. That's well done. That's, that's what fine. we're after. That's, that's what we're after. All, all, the only extra thing we'd ask for your name. Yeah, yeah give us so your name. Put your name in there if you, you want to make a joke. Put your that, name in there. You don't do it. I, I really enjoyed that. Yeah, that was great. I liked that. Are we done? We are absolutely done. Fucking nice. It's hot in here. I Please want to thank our sponsors. On. Stop the clock. What's that? About four hours? Please thank our sponsors. Joe Rogan's done a lot to us. Whip sample whiskey, which I've been drinking all evening, which you may have picked up. Picked up on. That was over. Uh, um, Jolter oh. Brewery. Code. There's another one. Mother There's another voice pop code. for anyone who's paying attention. <laughs> Dan's Blue. balls have finally dropped at 40. <laughs> finally. Blue Bet. Uh, leadable cameras where you get all your gear from. Uh, socials, backchat, double underscore. You can email us, hello at backchatpodcast.com.au. You can message us on Patreon. We Excellent. respond to everything. Yes. We put extra stuff on there. It's very, very good. And we got some very good merch coming who our patrons are going to get first access to. We got merch dropping. Huge I'll, I'll tell you what it is. It's West Coast and Fremantle merch. Wow. Yeah. So Last oh, year we uh, alleg- um, allegedly or something. You know, like we're definitely having copyrighted anything, and there's certainly yep. not encroaching on any trademark deals. Mm-hmm. Yep. But there will be fan merch, and if you're a patron, you can buy it first. If it sells out to our patrons, everyone else bad luck. Too Too shit. And if you want to be a patron, that's how you join the tipping comp. Yes, mm-hmm. exactly. Backchatpodcast.com.au. There's a link there to sign up, and you can get on Patreon. I'm going to talk about when we speak to our patrons right now. We're going to say goodbye to everyone else. I'm going to talk about tipping um, strategy, tactics. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Tactics. Oh, I love that. Okay. All right, we'll, we'll see, see you next week, everyone else. See ya. Hello, patrons. <laughs> <laughs>